It's a tool that Mother Nature herself created. California has evolved with fire. And Native Americans support it. It goes back thousands and thousands of years in this area. Because it helped the land to thrive. Fire is just as important, in my opinion, as rain. Now many are realizing the need to bring fire back. It's an effort that requires a mind shift from all fire being bad to some controlled fire being good. That's the focus of prescribed burn associations. They bring people together using prescribed fire to protect and preserve our land. They are really helpful in getting people to come together as a community and, and do a sort of you know, barn raising, as it were. So Jason, you're in the uh, SEC engine. You're actually going to be in the contingency group. We have you know, a burning happening on Mary's land this week and a burning happening on Bob's land next week. And getting that sense of ownership, not just in terms of land ownership, but in an ownership and a sense of responsibility towards the resources and the health of the land. This is the burn on Bob's land. Bob Cooley is a third generation rancher with 20,000 acres of rangeland in Sonoma and Mendocino counties. His family has used prescribed fire as a way to manage their land as long as he can remember. Every summer it was one of our summertime activities. So we would burn. Now he's an avid supporter of community-based cooperative burning done with the help of his local prescribed burn association. On this day, 55 community members, many with little to no fire experience, showed up to take part. Winds 5 to 8 forecasted? Sounds pretty good, okay? That's, that's right in the ballpark what we need. There is no way that any agency right now, whether it be CAL FIRE or local agency, local fire departments, can, can tackle the amount of fuel reduction and, and prescribed fire that needs to happen out here. Ensure you've got radio communication, that's, that's critical. CAL FIRE is responsible for protecting 31 million of California's approximately 100 million acres of land, which means much of the land that's vulnerable to huge wildfires is on private property. Without that partnership of private landowners or other governmental agencies, we would never have the opportunity to conduct these uh, controlled burns because we simply wouldn't have access to the property. That's why fire experts say cooperative burns and a community that understands the need for them is crucial. It's a concept that's also gaining ground with younger ranchers, like Bob Cooley's son. My name is Crawford Cooley, and I am a fourth generation rancher on the Cooley Ranch. This is a place that's been special to me ever since I was born. I want it to be just as special to my kids and just as special for their kids. If you can burn the dangerous areas before a hot fire season, that can mean the difference between saving your house or saving your community. This land on the Cooley property was burned six months ago. Now it shows fewer dry fuels and new native growth. And while you might not think of it, fire also plays a role in protecting our water. The Sonoma watershed provides clean, safe drinking water to more than 600,000 people but it faces a huge risk. A big wildfire here could potentially cook the soil, creating hydrophobic conditions. That means that when the storms roll in the following winter, the rainwater runs off the landscape instead of soaking into those soils. Delivering ash, contaminants, and sediment right into this region's main water source. The fire's a renewal. Once it burns through this old decadent, brush and grass and the new growth coming in that's succulent and it's high protein value and, the, and again the fuel reduction has gone. It's really hard not to use the bad pun. It's spreading like wildfire. For one, we're getting more acres blackened, but we're also training people how to do fire smartly and we're creating access points. It's really encouraging to see that um, there is this kind of collaboration because we need everyone in, in this land to be doing these kinds of practices and, and showing this amount of care for the land around us. Fire is coming back to these ecosystems one way or another and we'd rather it come back on our terms. Environmental experts say while climate research is predicting more of the bad fire, this is one way to be proactive, to use good fire in a safe and cooperative way recognizing that this land that evolved with people and fire needs it desperately in order to thrive. <music>